okay grade eight this is chapter what chapter seven or chapter eight i don't know chapter seven okay so this is chapter seven and we are on lesson six and we are doing slope and similar triangles okay all right let's remind ourselves i saw similar i need to think about what i need to think about scale factor i need to think about dilation so that means i'll have two two triangles one big one small my triangles will be right right triangles okay so since my triangles are right triangles there's things i need to think about so i have right angled triangles i have to remember pythagorean theorem I have to remember distance formula. All right, Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals to c squared. You learned this in chapter five, distance formula, d equals the square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared under the square root okay because i saw right triangles this is just me thinking things that should be on my mind scale factor how do we get scale factor scale factor equals image over pre-image i find the corresponding sides all right, so that's when I saw similar and I saw triangle slope. We have to remember this from term one. Slope I have to remember this is run, this is rise. So rise over run. That is one one method for slope. I have to remember slope is also M. I have to remember slope is Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. I have to remember all this. So if I've been given a line and they say this is 5, 8, and they say this is negative 3, negative 2, and this is A, B, I want to find the slope. I can either use rise over run or I can use my formula. Okay. This number here will be five, negative two. Five and my y is negative two. I. Right. So I want to use rise over run. From negative three to five is how much? negative three negative two negative one zero one two three four five three four five how many of this one two three four five six seven eight my run is eight from negative two to eight i will do over here negative two negative one zero one two three four 
five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this will be ten. Okay? Then if I want to find A B, I can use Pythagorean theorem. Okay, I want to find slope. So it depends with the question. So what is the slope of A B? Okay, what is the slope of line AB? So I will say slope of AB is rise over run. My rise is vertical. My run is horizontal. My horizontal line is 8. My vertical line is 10. I need to simplify this. I'm going to write my slope as a decimal. One, and 25 hundredths. So this is one way I can do the slope, okay? If I've been given ordered pairs. If I've been given these two ordered pairs, I should find the third one then I find the distance from here to here using my X. And then I find my rise using my Y. See how I did with the number line? That's how one way. Another way you can do it, use the formula. Slope equals Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Let's put our numbers. So I label y2, x2, y1, x1. Then I do 8 minus negative 3. And then I do, no, minus negative 2, sorry. y1 is negative 2. And then I do... 5 minus negative 3. And then I get this becomes plus. This becomes plus. 8 plus 2, 10. 5 plus 3, 8. See? I got the same value. So those are two different ways of you finding the slope. If the question says... What is the distance from A to B? Then I will do AB using Pythagoras theorem. I will do C squared equals to A squared plus B squared since I'm looking for C. My A is eight, my B is 10. C squared equals to 64 plus 100. C squared equals to 164. I square root both sides. C is the square root of 164. Press SD, 12 and 8 tenths units because I am measuring the distance. I, or I can use distance formula. So I'm going to do it here. Find AB using the distance formula. Okay, D equals square root X2 minus X1 
squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Okay. X, so we use our numbers. X2 is 5 minus negative 3 squared plus 8 minus negative 2 squared. Then uh, 8 squared because this becomes plus. This is 10 squared. 64 plus 100. Which gives me 12.8. Units. So you choose, or the question will tell you. If the question doesn't tell you, choose whichever one is easier for you. If the question tells you, you have to do what the question says. Now, this is just a reminder. Now we have to get into the lesson. The lesson says if two triangles are on the same line, they are similar. Because they have the same slope. So, if you've been given a line and there is a point here, let's call it A. There's a point here, let's call it B. And there's a point here, let's call it C. So, I will draw my two triangles. Since it didn't give me this point, I will just label it D. And then... I will call this E. Now I have two triangles. I have triangle A, B, E. And I have triangle A, C, D. And what did the question give me? Points. Okay? So let's say this is two, three, this can be five, eight, and this will be uh, eight, thirteen. Okay. Okay. So those are the points the question gave me. Now, it is asking me, are these two triangles similar? I will find the slope. Slope of AB. And then I will find the slope of AC. Slope of AC. Their lines. Slope equals y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. And I will label, okay, x2 y2 x1 y1 then i will do 8 minus 3 5 minus 2 i will get 5 over 3 and then i will do this so this becomes my x2 y2 Alright, 13 minus 3, 13 minus 3, 8 minus 2. And I got 10 over 4. Am I right? Sorry, 8 minus 2 is 6. What am I doing? Alright, then... I put it in the calculator, 5 over 3, uh, 
1.666 and then 10 over 6 I got 5 over 3 and 5 over 3 is 1.666 and because my two slopes are the same, so then I write my sentence, slope of AB is equal to slope, is congruent to slope of AC, so triangle ABE is similar to triangle ACD. There is my answer in a sentence. Okay? All right. We need to do more. So, if the points are on the same line, then the slopes between any two points will be congruent write that sentence when the points are on the same line then the distance between any two points will always have the same slope. Okay? Then you do your examples. That's it. This lesson is all about you doing slope. See? You find slope either by counting, rise over run, or you use the formula. When you write your co uh, corresponding sides and you get a different number, they are not similar. If you write them correctly and you get the same number, then they are similar. Rise over run. There you go. See? Slope formula. So do example A and B, and then we will talk about them tomorrow. You can also do guided practice. Yes, A, B, and guided practice, because we don't have a lesson on Aleph. So try these and guided practice, and then we'll discuss tomorrow, then we'll continue. Bye.